Hi guys, welcome back to 4D Dick. When you boot your Mac into recovery mode and try to use recovery over the internet, it will contact Apple's recovery server. But there is a problem that the screen shows the recovery server cannot be contacted. If that's you, then you've come to the right place. Today, in this video, we're gonna show you four methods to fix this issue. Before we get started, let's see what caused this error message appears shortly. So, the first common reason for this is a poor network connection. Or it could be the Apple server is really down. With another common reason for this is that your max time and date don't match those on the server. Now, let's move to method one. Make sure your Mac is connected to the internet properly. And if you connected it to Wi-Fi, make sure the internet is available over it. Or connect to your Mac to another Wi-Fi. If you're sure that there's no problem with your network, let's check Apple servers then. Go to Apple's official website to check system status. When it indicates a problem with the recovery server, the only option is to wait for Apple to fix it. If not, move to the next method. As we mentioned before, incorrect date and time will result this error message. Cause we can't see date and time in recovery mode, Use Terminal instead to reset the time and date. Click Utilities in the menu bar. Choose Terminal. Type the command. Now try again to see if your issue is fixed. If all above methods don't work for you, you can reinstall macOS with a bootable installer. If you don't have one, here is how to create a bootable installer for Mac. First, you need a USB flash drive or other secondary volume with at least 14 GB of available storage. Download a macOS installer from App Store or your browser. Plug in the USB to an available Mac. Open Terminal. Type or paste the command depends on which Mac OS you're gonna install. Here we take Catalina as example, and you can find the commands below in the description. Press Enter. You will be asked for password to continue. When prompted, type Y to confirm. When Terminal says that it's done, you've got a Mac OS installer. Insert it to your Mac. Restart. Then immediately press and hold the Option key. Release it when you see the startup options. Select the volume that contains the bootable installer. Click the on-screen arrow. Then just follow it to install the Mac OS. That's all for today. If you need to recover data from your Mac, click the card here. And we hope you guys really get something from this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.